I'm sure most of you by now have heard of Microsoft's new Bing Chatbot AI. However, did you know that's not the only AI tool that Microsoft is working on? This right here is known as Microsoft Designer. As you can see, stunning designs in a flash with Microsoft Designer. Join the waitlist, add your email. Spoiler alert, I got access to this yesterday. So I'm going to be showing you guys the ins and outs of Microsoft's new Designer app. They've got a little video for us to watch. I do love this uh, ad they made. AI yeah, generated images. You can edit everything. So the interface. Very business oriented. Cool, little advertisement. The animation is beautiful in that. So as you can see, it's never been easier to approach a blank canvas. And their their focus really is on small businesses. You could just tell, how can we help small businesses look a lot more professional using this new AI technology? As you can see, let's say, you know, you're doing a kitten adoption day at a vet, for example, and there it is, kitten adoption day. Lots of different designs pop up. Obviously, one of a kind images with text to image generation. Text to image generation is provided by Dolly 2. Some might be disappointed to hear that, but I think we forget how good Dolly 2 can be sometimes. It's not the worst model in the world. It also uses AI to create design ideas for yourself that are just generated automatically, which is super cool. So we'll test that out. So they've also got a huge database of stock imagery we can look at here. Apparently, there's motion graphics and direct publishing to social networks join the waitlist well we don't have to join the waitlist because we're already on it and we already passed it we have access here's the fancy email they they go over and send you we'll click the try designer button and this beautiful animation appears with microsoft designer pulling up and then they've given you this little text box to start with the general idea of what we want to create designer copilot let's start with your content describe the design you'd like to create is this text to design all right, we'll try a very basic idea here. Step-by-step -step guide for creating peppermint sticks. You can also add your own images, which is really nice to see. So you could use Midjourney or similar. Let's just see what it gives us for this basic prompt. And as you can see, when I click the generate button, it starts working over on the side and some designs come up pretty quickly. I can tell you right now, none of these feature AI generated imagery as of yet. These are all stock photos, but I mean, they have plenty of nice peppermint stick stock photos to choose from. If I just pick this first one here and go to customize design, it gets brought up in our editor and the rest of the design seems to have gone down here into this co-pilot section, which is like this AI generated helper to say like, oh, do you like this design better or this design? Or maybe this one is, is the good design. So it's doing a pretty nice job so far, I think, of arranging everything. It's definitely business focused, I would say. This is like BuzzFeed article or you run your own homemade bakery or own little small business oriented. So if I ran a family owned candy shop, for example, and I wanted to make an Instagram post about making your own peppermint sticks or something like that, this is a really good primer, a little image I could use. They've also got a nice selection of templates here, but this is the template feature is something you find on a lot of other websites that do design similar to this. So honestly, this template feature, I would say is expected. How many templates do they have? Well, it seems like they have quite a lot. Just searching up candy does bring up some good results here that could be used for a similar situation to this. But like if you search up anything too obscure, like I just simply search up the word monkey, nothing comes up for that. The visuals are where things get a little bit more interesting. This is where you can generate images directly in the app itself. Let's see what we get for peppermint sticks. Oh, it's actually giving us some suggestions to finish off the prompt. So this could be using some GPT-3, GTP 3.5, maybe even GPT-4 technology to try to finish off our sentence. Peppermint sticks from behind sunset at golden hour, tilted frame over saturated filter, like an RGB gamer ethereal. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go from the sunset one, but these are actually coming up pretty well. Now it says it's Dolly 2, but I have to say these look especially good for Dolly 2 generated images. I need to do a very quick sanity check on this Dolly 2 generated image. I've tried twice now in the Dolly 2 app on OpenAI to get a generated image of peppermint sticks and it won't show up. Nothing is generating. OpenAI, you need to fix your servers because this is just ridiculous. Anyways, once we actually have an image, 
They have different effects like background removal, which seems to be AI powered, and blurring the background, which also seems to be AI powered. What does blurring the background look like? Let's just try that out on this photo. It seems to have not done anything here. They also have filters, and there's actually a recommendation for what filter it thinks we should choose on this. Mm, this filter absolutely can deep fry stuff, that's for sure. But you can do like a slight Christmassy filter on it. They have auto adjustments to the brightness here for you. So there's a lot of different like little AI tweaks and tools in here. Like, oh, the brightness should look like this and the contrast should look like this. It's trying to do a lot of this stuff for you and make creating professional looking content really easy just at the click of a button almost. And it's hard to tell without extensive testing whether or not these tools work well. Like I tried the blur one and it didn't seem to do anything. It already kind of had a blurry background though. What I am noticing is that this co-pilot here on the side is determined to give us some really good little ideas. So for example, this top one here, actually it noticed that we have a new image in our scene and it's thinking of a new way to combine our previous image with our new one in this one image. This is really, really cool. And they actually all look Pretty cool. I don't know why this text is sideways. It thinks that looks good for some reason. But again, we have the two images side by side. This one I actually really like as well because it's grabbing a brand new image and tossing out our old one, but keeping our generated image. So it's decided it likes this one more and it's doing the same thing. All of these are very, very usable designs. I will say I can toss in more peppermint stick photos. So let's say I put three AI generated images in here. Does Copilot want to use all three? Yes, it does. Ooh, check that out. It's taking our AI generated photos and combining them all into one design just by clicking on these different Copilots. Ooh, and there's the animations they were talking about. Again, this could be good if you're like a Buzzfeed type of TikTok channel or something like that where you actually want it to be a video and that's like the opening for your video and you can see it's doing the same thing chat gpt does and is actually titling our project for us which is pretty cool as well it's just those little tiny tweaks and tidbits that really make ai tech a lot more fun to use and interact with they have different styles as well we can choose from. This is like color palettes and, and things like that. Again, I would expect all of these kinds of features, you know, different text tools or styles. Like if you're building a design app and it doesn't possess a bunch of different styles pre-baked in, what are you doing? So I guess if I decide I really like this design, I can click the download button and it actually has, you can either post it to Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn immediately, or you can just download it. And they do give you the option to download it as an MP4, as if you were, you know, going to make some sort of blog post or an Instagram video post or a TikTok video post. So we can click the download and it actually renders out our video here, which is pretty cool. And there it is. Here's our pre-baked and pre-rendered video, all created with Microsoft Designer, and it came out good. There's also these AI-generated upcoming holiday suggestions where it pre-makes designs for you to say, don't miss out on the holidays if you're, you know, a small company and want to capitalize on holidays. Apparently, I have three invites to Microsoft Designer, so comment below if you want a Microsoft Designer invite, and I might just link it to you. So let's start a new design. I want to start off by actually generating an image this time. Again, if we type something in, we can actually see it's giving us more AI generated suggestions here. And a lot of them don't really seem to fit what we typed in, like long view professional or viewed from behind over saturated filter. But it's still kind of cool to see nonetheless. And you can click the button here and, you know, you can start with AI generated images. I think that's a, a good way to start for a lot of more unique businesses. Holly 2 does do some pretty accurate image generation sometimes. You're only getting three images per prompt, by the way, with this. But in the designer phase here in the beta, you have unlimited generations. Oh, there we go. All right. Please give me your cat. Close up view. Vivid. Sure. So now we can click on one of these designs and it's going to auto generate a, a whole thing for us on the side. I notice it's not giving me this original prompt here inside of our design. I guess that kind of makes sense. You can actually change if you want a landscape or a square version. So yeah, without context, it kind of does its best with the image it's given. Wow, okay, so this is interesting. It's actually interpolating the text that you put in here. So I said, please give me your pet cat for completely free as kind of a joke. And it's actually used a text model, probably GPT 3.5 or similar, 
to think, oh, this person's trying to give their pet cat away. That doesn't make any sense. Who would be asking for someone to give them their cat for free? Wouldn't it be the other way around where they're trying to give away their cat? Ooh, they actually have a whole green screen video over here. That is very interesting to see. Definitely some capabilities outside of just basic graphic design with this tool. This one's pretty funny. I wrote, I accidentally ate 50 cakes, and it's like, oops, I accidentally ate 50 cakes. So it's adding that oops in there. It's definitely reading this text and uh, figuring out what you're saying, which is pretty funny and pretty cool. Here, we'll go with a portrait version of this. You can customize design here, and you can see, again, everything is draggable and movable, so there's no worries on the functionality of this. Similar to any other designer you could find on the web. This one's funny, too, is this is actually decided, like, oh, it needs to be a person who's disappointed in themselves so there's definitely some ai processing going on under the hood that's really cool to see i really like to see that this is more than your average little web design tool i think it would have to be free for me to want to use it though there's not enough here yet if they added a lot more different ai features it really could stand out as a tool. They've done a really good job with the UI so far, but you know, the, the basic stuff like the templates and the styles and the text, I expect that to be here when I go in looking at this. The AI generated stuff is a really nice touch and they've done a great job implementing it so far, especially with the suggestions and this co-pilot over here is really cool, especially. It's probably my favorite little feature of this. It's easy to use and it's good so far, but it definitely lacks enough features for me to be like, Oh, this is like a full AI generated designer. So off on the right foot, not replacing anything I currently use, especially because I don't run a small business. If I was trying to start a small little, you know, brick and mortar business, I would probably try to use this for my social media, though, considering it's free and really easy to use and the co-pilot and all that. Tell me what you folks think down in the comments below. I definitely think their target is the small business crowd. And uh, if you guys have small businesses or similar, let me know if you would want to use this. And if you want a link, I suppose, to try this thing out. Because again, I do have three invite links I can send to people. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.